So perfect segue from uh, past commerce, uh, past stock. So at KubeCon uh, one month ago, basically uh, this is a kind of a screenshot from YouTube. Uh, the guy with the camera was moving around when at the keynote of KubeCon, instead of the first slide being about Kubernetes, the first slide was about Slurm. So it gets to show, since this initial section before the coffee break is about workloads, is that there at the Kubernetes ecosystem, we are looking at Slurm. And here at the HPC ecosystem, we are looking at Kubernetes. So it's like we are looking each other across the gasm, right? Like it's, it's something is happening here, and it's very related to past presentation on like uh, HPC systems and HPC institutions. We want to run uh, training and, and inferencing models, and Kubernetes is much better for that than some of the tooling that we have in HPC, but not all, right? Like that's why at the Kubernetes ecosystem, we are like, hmm, this Slurm thing kind of like works. So let's try it out for what it works and let's continue using uh, Kubernetes. So how does that feel? So many now are talking about Slurm on top of Kubernetes, Slurm with Kubernetes, Slurm side by side Kubernetes. So like it really depends on how you pronounce it. And really it goes to many implementations. The most famous implementation, uh, just going over it really fast, was a blog post on supercomputing in November about a company that promised that they were going to open source this tool. Uh, we never knew it as open source, but it gets to show that many are trying to push and get like uh, to be the first ones on providing a tool to do a slurm with Kubernetes in any way, sort. Right, so this song uh, architecture was proposing to run a Slurm inside Kubernetes. So basically Kubernetes will be the master and you will deploy pods with Kubernetes and inside those pods you will have uh, a Slurm running. Mostly for tools like training, right? So Kubernetes is not good for training because Kubernetes is not good for MPI. So uh, what any, everyone is trying to do is like, okay, I will deploy a Slurm, I will get my MPI done, and I will get back to Kubernetes because Kubernetes is better for serving. But uh, what Kubernetes is trying to do to kind of like circle around this is that we are proposing new methodologies, new APIs, and new controllers. One of them is the leader worker set that uh, will allow us to do better MPI in Kubernetes. So, so the leader worker set uh, and and uh, Vanessa is very active in, in this API, allow us to do parallel creation of group post pods with a leader, right, as, as the API name is. So I can basically uh, deploy an MPI job with a launcher pod and worker pods, and Kubernetes is going to make sure that all the pods start at the same time, and that way uh, circumvent some of the problems that we were having uh, when running MPI in Kubernetes. It can also have multiple groups of pods. And why this? Uh, there are some AI uh, models. Uh, I'm not very expert in AI itself. So there are some AI models that they do very complicated uh, multi-node uh, deployments where you require multiple pods doing the same at the same time, but um, different groups of pods communicating with each other while doing the training. And it is going to be a topology aware uh, placement as well. So that's good for MPI because I can tell Kubernetes, I need a group of pods because I'm going to do MPI. Please put them together so that there is uh, as low as, as low as possible network latency, right? So uh, I'm putting here uh, like everything the API does, but we're trying to move fast today. Uh, this uh, API can be leveraged by the SIG project Q, that is the controller that give us bash scheduling in Kubernetes. So if you deploy Q, then you can utilize the leader work cert API, and also you can even uh, attach it to the MPI operator and get a good feeling of MPI in Kubernetes. Uh, for those that don't know Q, I'm trying to be very fast, it's a, a job queuing controller, or as uh, many call it, operator. It's a very lightweight implementation. It provides maximum uh, reuse or like optimization over how do you utilize CPUs, mostly CPUs for now, in Kubernetes, and it has fully compatibility with the ecosystem, right? So instead of uh, trying to build a new tool and compete with each other, Q is focusing on enabling all of the tools, right? So we now have, uh, we, if we go to the Q uh, GitHub repo, 
we can see that Q is onboarding multiple projects. And uh, Q has a roadmap that uh, uh, is integrating things that we are still lacking, and we all get Kubernetes into a place that it can compete more like side by side with Slurm, but we are still uh, some maybe year, two years away from that, so that's why I just wanted to show the roadmap. Uh, Multi-cluster support uh, at last, as I showed it in my first presentation, uh, multi-cluster is, is becoming very important in the Kubernetes ecosystem. So being able to do bash uh, queuing in multiple clusters at the same time is very important for us right now. And with that, uh, next one. <laughs> 